So are you one of the sheep or are you a wolf? So are you one of the sheep or are you a wolf? Are you one of the slaves or are you a free man? I've been thinking a lot about these questions lately and um, it seems like if you live your life as a free man you are in today's so-called modern society seen as a rebel and not in a good way not like in the you know rock songs and so on <laughs> you're seen as a rebel and as a uh, problematic person you're politically un incorrect and you are uh, also one of the terms that are being thrown at us is uh, you know uh, this toxic masculinity thing and uh, there will be other new words that they will throw at us and it doesn't really mean anything you know it's 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 just bullying that's what they do they are bullying us and and most times I feel like it's when you know when you were in school and there was maybe someone smaller than you who, who was aggressive and you would hold him <laughs> on his forehead like this to keep him off you <laughs> well I did <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but um, it is problematic that free men are seen as uh, Free men are not wanted in this so-called modern society. I'm shaking my head because I'm, I'm seeing a generation growing up who don't really know freedom. It's not going the right in the right direction right now. And we need to fix this. We need to get our freedom back. Once we were warriors. Don't ever forget that. And I don't care if you're a Norseman like myself or if you're a Native American or if you're a German or Swedish or... Uh, I, I don't care. If you look into your history, you will see that you stand on the shoulders of giants. And you have those genes in you. You are a warrior. And you are meant to be free. You are not meant to bow your knee to authorities and, and conform to stupid rules. So when I became a father um, and my kids started in, in school, it, um, it surprised me that they were now, now seen as property 
of the state. Now that might sound like I'm a little bit uh, crazy, but it's <laughs> there is at least a part of the ed the whole education system that <sighs> conditions people to be obedient to the state. I am not. Well, I pay my taxes and a lot of it. They would put me in prison if I didn't. So it's kind of a brutal system. Now I would gladly, gladly pay for to help sick people, old people, uh, disabled people, and uh, for uh, the functions that we need in society. But right now, you know, when you're working half half the year for the state, that's just insane. Yeah, I would like you to think about these questions. Are you a free man or are you really a slave? And if you find that you are at least partly a slave, what can you do to get out of that? What can you do to become a free man? You were meant to be a free man. Now the old Norsemen, they had uh, three classes of uh, people. They had the nobles, they had the freemen, and they had the slaves. The slaves could not choose. Well, they could buy themselves out of slavery actually, but um, that was probably not very easy to do. But the word freeman, freeman, means free man, and that's what you're supposed to be. So get rid of that mortgage and do what you want in life. Don't be a slave, don't be a sheep. Think for yourself. Don't let those people bully you into living in a certain way. Don't listen to them. You're not toxic. <laughs> You're not. You're a human being. Yeah. I'm going to sit here for a while now in silence and listen to the rain on the tarp. And uh, I hope to see you in a few days. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.